morning, everyone. I'm Leah Cooper with your JCN News for this Monday, September 14th. 160 cases of COVID-19 reported in the country over the weekend. Health officials also reported two deaths on Friday, bringing the death toll to 67. COVID-19 cases at nearly 3,000, with the latest confirmed cases on Sunday at 46. Saturday, the Ministry of Health reported 54 cases, with 60 reported on Friday. The total of confirmed cases in the country now stands at 2,000. 974. Of those cases, 213 cases are confirmed in New Providence, 597 in Grand Bahama, 100 in Abaco, 54 in Bimini, 24 in Exuma, 17 in Inagua, 15 in the Bay Islands, 12 in Eleuthera, 8 in Cat Island and Long Island, 7 in Acklands, 5 in Crooked Island, and 3 confirmed cases in Andrus and Mayaguana. And we have 108 confirmed cases with local pending. Meantime, health officials also confirmed the unfortunate death of two persons. On Friday, the Ministry of Health reported the deaths of a 30-year-old female who died that day and a 58-year-old female who died on September, both women of New Providence. Deaths under investigation now stand at 10. Education Minister Jeffrey Lloyd sends out encouraging words via audio press release to the students taking part in national exams today. The BJC and BGCSC examinations resumed this morning and will continue until October 6. Mr. Lloyd gave these uplifting words to students as they face not only the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, but the challenge of their exams. I am proud of you making this wise decision to take your exams. Because I know there are voices out there who may have tried to discourage you. And I'm glad you are ignoring them. Because you're doing what is best for you. I've also come to tell you to take these exams seriously. They represent a significant milestone in your lives. You have studied for them. You have prepared for them. You have worked hard. And now you have the chance to prove that all that effort was well worth it. The education minister contends that students cannot afford to regret not taking their exams during this time, mentioning that he knows adults who regret not taking their exams seriously when they were younger. And I'm telling you, these credentials that you are about to achieve, no one can take them from you. These are yours, whether you go to college or not. And even though some colleges and universities and businesses relax the rules around having exam passes to get in this year, 2020, you can bet, my friends, that when this pandemic is over, they will again revert to making good exam passes mandatory to get entrance into a school or to get a job. And you want to be ready. Mr. Lloyd ended his statement by encouraging students to be confident that they can do it and that they are ready. He says not to forget to give God all the glory and praise for giving them this privilege to take these national exams. And as national examinations continue today, education officials are refuting claims by the Bahamas Union of Teachers President Belinda Wilson that there are unsafe conditions at schools attached to the Ministry of Education due to pre the presence of persons with COVID-19 infections in several schools. Just last week, the union leader called out several public schools that had COVID-19 infected teachers, and while the Ministry of Education confirmed that there have been reported cases of persons with COVID-19 infections at a few MOE schools. Those premises were vacated and subsequently cleaned and sanitized by the Environmental Monitoring and Risk Assessment Division. Well, the Ministry of Education in its official statement last night accused the union leader of a selfish goal of derailing the national examinations and says assertions made by Mrs. Wilson are designed to create public panic among teachers, students, and parents. The Ministry of Education says it's deeply aggrieved by the fact that the BUT president would seek to deprive children of this vital opportunity. And while this behavior is not ex unexpected, it is regrettable that such action would be taken at a time when we should all be pulling together as a country to advance national development in the midst of the worldwide COVID crisis. Further, the ministry is encouraging teachers not to be persuaded by the antagonistic pronouncements coming from Mrs. Wilson. Education officials are showing the public that facilities and schools being utilized are safe and says all facilities have been cleaned and sanitized. 
The Royal Bahamas Defense Force is reporting an ongoing search and rescue mission to recover five persons that were reported missing from a capsized vessel six miles south of Chub Key in the Berry Islands. In a statement issued yesterday, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force says a coordinated response by the U.S. Coast Guard, the Royal Bahamas Police Force, and the Defense Force is on the way. Here's Search and Rescue Coordinator Commander William Stirrup with more. Patrol boat 127 arrived on scene at about 5 a.m. on the 12th of September 2020 and discovered 12 persons clinging to a capsized 30 foot boat. These individuals were retrieved from the water and transported to Coral Harbor Base, where they were turned over to health officials and the World Arms Police Force. Currently, there's an ongoing search and rescue for the remaining persons. Uh, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, the Royal Bahamas Police Force, and the Coast Guard are conducting search throughout the day and will continue throughout the night. He says the public will be updated as more information comes in. He also gives this advice to the public. Members of the public are advised to pay attention to the emergency orders as it relates to movement of people throughout the islands, to weather warnings issued by the Met Department, and the smuggling and trafficking of persons to the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Operations Department. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force remains poised and ready to guard the territorial integrity of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and to guard our heritage. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news was brought to you by Alive.